And this is Trey with buildidaho.com. Today we're kind of doing a uh, different video. We're actually on site of the Meridian School District. They're building a home for us. And uh, this is Srila. Srila, tell us about what's happening here. Um, well, we're just a group from the Meridian School District. Um, there's 12 of us students that come work out here every other day for a half a day. And we basically learn uh, the trade of construction and all the skills necessary and everything, uh, we learn everything that needs to be done and what is put into a home when you build it. So. Hopefully someone will hire you after they see this video. Yes, yes. So Julia, tell me, last year we did a home and we called it the most technically correct home that is being was being built. And this year, tell us about this home as, as construction goes. Well, we're actually outdoing ourselves from last year on the technical aspects. Um, we've had to improve Energy Star standards in our home because Energy Star bumped up their standards, like it becomes a law almost, and we have to put a wall up between the garage and the rest of the house up in the rafters to keep the cold air from the garage cooling off the house, just so you keep the house different temperatures where you need to. Um, and we've also had to put a lid on top of the attic entrances because we had leaks there last year. That was a big problem because it was only sheetrock last year. We didn't have a, a sealed lid on top, so now we have that. Perfect. And uh, Zach, tell us, where, where are we in construction today? Well, in the house right now, we just got uh, the building approved and we just got some air and elect electrician stuff done. So we're just starting on the insulation and then soon after that, we're going to be putting up sheetrock. One of the big things we learned after building last year's house is that after Energy Star bumped up their standards, we need to bump up ours too. We've learned that we need to completely seal off the garage from the rest of the house, both in the attic entrances and just on the wall that you see over there. Um, what you need to do, you need to make sure that the, none of the air from the attic leaks into the garage or and that the garage doesn't affect the rest of the house and that keeps down energy bills and heating costs. Okay. In order to increase energy efficiency on the home, we put Tyvek tape around all of the J boxes on the exterior wall in order to prevent air coming into the house and air leaving the house. Uh, in our initial test yesterday, the house tested at 97% energy efficient. Some of the things we've done to keep the efficiency up in this house is we had a couple large holes left by the plumbers, so in order to keep the air infiltration down, we filled them with this uh, yellow foam that limits air infiltration. And also we had the same problem over here, so in order to fix it, to keep the efficiency up, we had to go underneath with a sheet of OSB and fill the hole with this same foam. So one of the interesting things about uh, a home built by the Meridian School District is they're going to get a grade, not going to get a paycheck, and their grade is based on doing things right as opposed to cheap or cutting corners. So tell me a little bit about the class and what you've learned over the past two years. This is our second video. Um, something that I've learned is that it takes a lot of time to build a house this technically correct. Um, but I think it's worth all of the effort and time that we put into every little detail of this home to build such an energy efficient uh, house for these people. And Julia, tell me about your experience here. Um, it's been a great experience. I don't necessarily want to go into the construction field, but now when I do want to buy a house in my life, I'll be able to tell what's wrong with it, whether or not I should be paying that much for a house, and what I can tell the contractor to fix before I move in there and fix it myself if I need to. Thank you. So this is Mark Inker. He's the uh, construction manager. Even though he's a teacher, he's also the construction manager. But tell me about this group of kids and Meridian School District and how, what, what's going on? Well, it's a great opportunity, as I've said in previous years and have done this for a number of years, obviously. Um, I'll tell you, a great group of kids, great opportunity for them to learn, a great opportunity then to learn the most recent, current, standards for the building industry and the big issue obviously nowadays is being green how can we do this for the less amount of money you get the greatest amount of efficiency not only for the issue of building but also for the issue of heating and cooling and energy costs on owning that home right and that is the goal here we want to keep this home as green as possible and I always refer to it as hey we want it as green as the grass in the front yard there we go and so real quickly how much of it is on site hands-on and how much of its classroom? Classroom materials is all dealing with the lower level classes, level one construction. Everything twos and threes, in other words, level two and three for those students out here is 100% hands-on, plain and simple. Very nothing cool. more, nothing less. Wonderful. Well, we thank you for taking time to work with these kids and build Boise a great home. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it very much. Thank and you. And so do the kids. <laughs> thank you.